Hey, hope you're all doing well. Um, I wanted to create a video kind of doing a quality comparison between this brand new Weha tool backpack that I got and this Vito Tech Pack LT. Um, these are both laptop and tool uh, backpack combos. Um, so I want to check the quality between them. I know Weha did a collaborative uh, backpack for a period of time with Vito. So it's like this bag right here with Weha stuff all over it with Weha tools inside of it. So I wanted to see what they learned from that collaborative backpack and brought it into their own. Um, you can kind of see echoes of the Vito bag in the new Weha. Kind of look at how this is structured, the strapping, how it ties into the pan on the bottom or the tub you want to call that. Um, so I've had this Weha bag for about two weeks now. And I've noticed quality things on it, just differences. Um, one of the big ones that's jumping out is if you look at this border between the zipper and the edging here, it grows and shrinks, just like um, you know a quality build quality differences. Where I, on the Vito bag, you really don't see anything like that. Everything's very uniform all the way around, and how it's put together. I mean, obviously they have way more experience doing it than whoever's doing the Weha one or whoever they contracted to build these. Um, there's a lot of double stitching in here, but in some areas they don't. So like if you look inside this meter pouch, I can show it. They only went with one edge of stitching in here. See, so yeah, right there, you can only see one line. So some of these load-bearing things, like this, this pouch being attached to the side here, that's only being held on by one perimeter stitch all the way around. Or a lot of the Vito stuff, like all these pockets are all double-stitched where they come in and tie in. You have the crossing, stuff like that. So just some things I'm noticing. These are both almost $300. I think this one popped up on Amazon for like $230. And then this one was like $290 when I bought it. So you're paying a little bit more money. You are getting a slightly smaller bag with the Vito. But I definitely think the quality is higher in the Vito, no doubt. Um, yeah, if you look at how it's carrying the load of the back straps... You have the clip going in. We have went with these additional sewn on straps. Um, so all of that's still being transferred through the zipper when you have this backpack fully loaded. All that load's being stressed through here. Where the Vito, they have an internal mid plate inside here. The Weha does too. But when they transfer the load through up to this upper pin here, they're actually tying it into that mid plate that's inside here. It's like a plastic structural plate. It's not, I don't think it's metal. It's plastic, but it's definitely in between there. It divides your laptop section with the tools, you know. So they're tying that load into here. That's, I think that's going to last a lot longer. You're not going to have stitches blowing out. Or here you have the potential. If you load this bag up and you're spending years, yeah, it's double stitched. But all of that has to be transferred through the zipper, through all these, right? So it'll be interesting to see how this bag holds up. Uh, let's see, try to think of what else. Um, inside, we can look at some quality things on the inside. I do see that the Weha, they, they cheaped out on these pockets. So they just took this nylon material folded it over right and have a, an edge there or if you look at the Vito they actually add a separate upper material here that's a lot substantially thicker all the way through so they have reinforced bottoms and they have reinforced tops and then this is all a nylon material here so it's the same material they're just layering it up different thicknesses colors you know whatnot but at this point at least it's you know, reinforce at the top and the bottom. Or if you look at the Weha, you do have some reinforcements at the bottom, but not much at the top. So just quality, still running single stitch through the sides. Same with the Vito. 
There's not really a difference. This is that mid plate I was talking about. It's plastic it going back in between there. Ties in. Um, we have reinforced corners here with the Vito. The Weha doesn't. So they're relying just on the bottom here plus the strap for the Vito. You have additionally this to help keep your things in and support the corner of the zipper here, right? So you don't blow out. Um, got nice pockets inside here. This is all double stitched. And here you have more of long, longer tool holders. Single stitch. Single stitch. Uh, single stitch at the bottom. These ones aren't reinforced. This is just the same material over again. Nothing being reinforced there. If you look here. Can't really tell. That's folded over. So I can't say if that's double stitched or not. The Vito is going up through there into this double stitching here. It's coming all the way up, so that's anchored pretty well, and we can see that. Nice zippers on the inside, more double stitching everywhere. This is a vinyl see-through with a netting over it to give it some more structure, but you don't have the pockets like that in the Weha. Um, elastic pouches. This is skinned on the inside. The Vito isn't, it's just a, it's a harder material on the inside. You can see the rivets come all the way through. Uh, the rivets is a good point. So, the Vito bag uses rivets to hold the fabric to the tub. So, like, this is free-floating. So, you could technically shove a shim up here and go inside the bag. So, this is not sealed. None of these are, like, watertight at that seal. It's from the tub down is your watertight. With the Weha, these are stitched in. So this is stitched in going through into the plastic. There's no um, studs going through, rivets I should say, tying this in. So you're relying on this the stitching to hold it down through the plastic. I don't know if that's going to be any different or if it's going to blow out. I can't see. But the studs are a nice touch I would say. Because you have that nice clamping force over a big area. And these aren't going to wear out or get cut like a stitch could. Um, yeah, just everything is sewn really nice, really beefy. I definitely think the Vito bag's more well-rounded and layered more appropriately for working in the trades. Some more double stitching all the way around. This is more of a decorative piece, so I'm not worried about the single stitch here. Um, you got stitching holding this upper plastic handle mount on yeah see they did the same thing there's a little thicker that's a little thicker string I would say there in comparison same relative design you have a nice plastic handle rubber over mold grip pins going through same here um, I do like the mole attachments but they feel compared to other products that have mole on it these are very tight like it's going to be hard to, to fish anything through there. So when I added this water bottle holder, it was definitely a struggle to get the back straps through here and weave them in. Uh, so these are very tight. There's an FYI when you go to plan to buy things for attaching there. You're going to have a hard time fishing it in. Let's look at the back straps here. The shoulder straps, I should say. I definitely like the padding a little more on the Weha. It's thicker, more perforated than the Vito. Nice strap, heavy duty straps coming through, all nicely sewn in. One of the pluses of the Vito is you have a hook here to hang this on like a fence or outside of somewhere. The Weha, you do not have a hook here. So you will lose that if you transition. You have this little bit of a handle. I don't see why you need this handle versus this one. You're not really going to use it differently, but it's, it's there if you like it. Padding's very nice. They both have the padding go down past the tub, so that's nice. We have learned that. I would say from Vito, so they do the same thing. There's more studs. 
few more sewn in there. So, got nice loops on the outside to hang tools off of, tape measure that is riveted in nicely. Yeah, I think that's a, that covers basically the quality. I just wanted to show everyone a close up so they understand like what you're getting into. So, all the differences you see here, you do get a bigger bag with the Weha, but you're spending what extra $60. Uh, you know, if you go up to the, the Vito, you're going to get, you spend $60 more, it's a little bit smaller, but you're buying higher quality. So that's, that's up to you on how you want to pursue your quest for tool backpacks. To me, it's a never-ending quest. I'm always looking for the perfect, never satisfied. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share my experience. I know I have these two bags here, and there's a lot of people interested in this new Weha bag. There's not much content out there for it, so I just wanted to share what I'm seeing so far with it, how I'm liking it. Um, so far it's been pretty well and so I'll keep posting more videos about it to share as much as I can on it that people are interested in. So thanks for watching. Bye.